Hey, what going people? Today we're gonna show you how to change your your CV axle. I already have a video for the right, um, the left side, so I'm gonna show you how to do the left the right side now. I'm gonna link both video in the description of each other. Welcome back to the channel. Help me help you subscribe. There is also a link in the description where you can um, support the channel from. So let's go ahead and remove the tire first of all. And the tool we're gonna to use is gonna be a 21 millimeter or you can use your your lug tools Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is to pull these right here, so we're going to pull these right here so the, the it don't get strained when we're pulling on the, the whole steering knuckle, alright? So you want to get the WD-40 at this point, spray this down. down. So you just want to spray this right there down and spray this down and let it soak while we taking off the rest of the tools, rest of the parts, alright? So the next step is to get your cutter pliers. to do hold it like this take it out link will be in the description for the parts and also all the tools you need to change it and at the end of the video I'm gonna go over all the tools I use to change uh, to change the hub so you can stick around for the hen for that video or you can skip to it. So this socket is an inch and a quarter socket. Go ahead and remove that big nut right there. So as you can see, it looked like somebody been in there already. see where they've been in there and they knock this so that's why the edge deformed that's why it was so hard to come out but we got that out all right so you want to get your hammer get a soft part of the hammer so you don't damage the treading So you want to knock it until it go back so push it in or you can put piece of board right here and knock it with the board so i get to push it back all right guys so once you knock it and it go back you can see i have a gap right there now as you see right there so what we're gonna do for that gap so that's good for now we're gonna leave that right there right here we're gonna come get our 14 millimeter and remove the, the steering the tire then so 14 millimeter
I know I use a lot of drill like this, but I will leave a link in the description for um for this because this and this will do the same job, okay? So the link will be in the description for this. And I also will leave a link in the description for that gun I have. So in case anybody out there bike, you might never know. Want to buy it, you might never know, all right? So we want to put the nut back on. We just want to get the armor and top right here. So, so that can turn left and right without fighting the, the steering so let's get to that you really don't need to do it but when you do this it make your work a lot easier you know over here we work smart and not hard so as you see just like that alright so guys you just want to put this right here so you don't lose it so the next step is to take down the take off these this down here and that my friend will be 18 millimeter on both sides so you want to get an 18 millimeter socket like i have here and an 18 millimeter um wrench all right guys so we have our 18 millimeters so let's go ahead and remove that 18 millimeter right here. So this is what we do. We have the we have the wrench on one end like this, and the impact with on the other end like this. As like I said, you don't have to use an impact. You can use. The, the breaker bar uh, with the socket okay link will be in the description for that as well go ahead and remove that so this is what we just removed that screw right there that was there so what we're gonna do we're gonna turn the wheel some more because that's why we removed that remove this so we can just turn the wheel with ease without fighting the steering so get it to turn like that we're going to get a center punch and then we're going to put the center punch in key. so we got the center punch right here we're gonna put it between here I'm gonna put it right there because what, we, what we're trying to do is open this so this can move freely so that's what we're gonna do just get a hammer knock it in So now you can see it moving free. So the next step is to get a pry bar, which I will leave a link in the description for that. So this is what I use, but I will leave a link in the description for a pry bar, which will do the same thing as this. So you just want to get it underneath the body of the car like that. Get it underneath here. So we can push down on this. And you'll see it come down like that. So that's what we want to do. So just jerk it a little bit. So as you see, I got it down more. So it will come out soon. So this will be the hardest part of the job. All right guys, so quick tip. If yours give you so much trouble like how mine give me a lot of trouble to take out, as you see, 
you can just remove these two bolts right here and remove the and remove this one right here so what that do is remove the lower control arm and then you will have more um and then you can take it out like that all right but i refuse to take to remove those bolts and so i got mine out now time to remove these two i think it's 14 millimeter you have one right here and another one right here so let's remove those two and then your axis should be ready to come out so once you remove all that we just removed you can pull this forward and you see your axle go in so you want to push and pull so push this and pull on this get that out of the way and now you have more room to work on these 14 millimeter right here all right guys so it is not it is not 14 millimeter it is 13 millimeter the same for the two bolts you saw i'll take out got an extension on it so that's one of the 13 millimeter And the bracket fall out so i have another 13 millimeter right here so the swivel socket really really work so this is a lot of help link will be in the description for this also this the bracket and once you remove the bracket from there you you can just pull the cv joint out like this and it will come right up then you can get your new CV joint and install it. So we are here and we have the new CV joint. We are about to put it up. So the next step is to put in your CV joint. But before we get there, because this sometimes these take a long time to get out from here what you might need to do is just remove the control arm and that will make your job a lot easier than what you see me just went through to get the control arm out all right because at the end of the day it only um this really depends on how rusty this is and how hard it is to take out and how rust how much rust is in here for it to make your job easy or make it really hard to take out the um the ball joint from the from the store steering knuckle so what you might need to do is just remove this right here remove this right here also remove this bolt and nut right here and lower down the lower down the the, the lower control arm and then you can swing it around or you can just even pull it out like just pull everything forward and it will um come loose or you can also take take it out from there if it's going to be hard to put it on so just remove the lower control arm will make your job easier but i refuse to remove that so that's why i do it this way and if you don't have that pry bar removing the lower control arm would be the next best thing for you all right so let's enough with the talking let's get to installing the cv joint got the new one here so you want to put it in the hole when you put it in the hole you want to twist it make sure it lock into place so as you see mine is turning so you just take your time push it in and once it lock in the gear you push it all the way in all right so as you see mine go all the way in it goes all the way into the transmission down there and it's seated properly so and if your vehicle is old old 
when you remove the CV axle you should replace your your washer but this one is not old I think the person got into an accident and they messed up the CV joint so that's why we CV joint CV axle whichever you call it so that's why we're changing that all right so once that is done make sure it's all the way in you just can push it in like this a little bit seems all the way in you want to go ahead and get your bracket and install your bracket right here all right guys so we have the bracket right here we're going to install the bracket and we're going to run them both in so there you go on those two um we're just gonna tighten them up and then we're gonna go ahead and install the the spindle so on the other side of the cv axle which you know because you have it out it's look like this and inside the transmission gonna have a spline like this so that's why i tell you to make sure it fit in the groove first before you go ahead and push it all the way in all right so that's how that goes so the next step is to put this in here so once it's in there like that you just want to turn this so to find the groove push this down so you just want to push back on it find the groove once you turn it and you find the groove and lock in you can go ahead and push it in like that all right the next step is to get the lower control arm in so let's find that at the bottom once you find the hole you push underneath on the bottom back and forth like this and it will go line up properly like that as you see right there so the next step is to get your hammer knock this in so you can see when it goes and line up properly right there Alright, so I knock it up too far. I bring it, pull it down back, and it come down like that. Alright, so the next step is to get your your bolt and your wash and your and your nut. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is tight. This is tight. This is tight right here. You can go ahead and put like this right here. And we can go ahead and put this right here. All right. All right, guys. So, um, <laughs> your nut is going to be a hundred and eighty eight foot pound of torque, as you see right here. This is symbol, it's 188 foot pound torque. So, and um, this nut right here gonna be 10, um, 10 foot pound of torque for that. That's the torque spec for that and for that. All right guys, so as you see right there, the 188 is a foot pound of torque. As you see the other one right here. All right, guys, so let's get back to the car. All right, so once that is tightened, I'm gonna go ahead and get your, your lock, your, your nut locker, or put it over the nut to lock the nut in place, and you wanna get your color pin to push through here. So that's what we're gonna get next. 
so guys you just want to run this through right here You just want to lock it around on both ends. All right, so that's locked into place right there. All right, guys, so right here, we're just going to double check our work to make sure everything is good. So this is tight. We already have our the locker for the, the nut. We have this is tight, which I show you the torque spec for this uh, saw right here. This is tight. And that's it for this job, guys. This is also tight. Nope. That's it for this job. We're gonna go ahead and put the tire on. Please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Support the channel with the links in the description. Alright. Let's install the tire.